Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In this session, we're going to look up Lambda in Excel. And what are Lambda? It will enable us to create custom functions that we can save by any name we want. And this function will then be saved and can be used throughout the workbook. We can compose now any formula in Excel wrap it into the lambda function and give it a suitable name. But before we start our session, let's watch my intro. So I have here an Excel spreadsheet and this is just a listing of the products, its unit cost and its quantity. The normal thing that we do if we compute for the total amount, we basically do our formula by starting with an equal symbol, choosing the field, and then putting the operator, which is a multiplication operator, and choose the an another field, which is C2, and then press enter, and that will compute for the total amount. Now, what we wanted is we wanted the computation of the total amount to be saved as a function in here so that all we need to do is call that function. And that's when the lambda function comes handy. So we'll start first writing our lambda function in one of the cells in here and all we need to do is just copy paste it onto the uh, formula designer. So. I'm going to type in here lambda, call lambda function, and then I'm going to pass on the parameter. Let's say I'm going to call the param my first parameter to be unit cost, and then another parameter, which I'm going to call it quantity, and then what I'm going to do is the formula to compute for the total amount, which is my parameter unit cost multiplied by the quantity and then close bracket. Now I wanted to test this by passing on unit cost which is pointing to B2 and then comma C2 and then I will close bracket and I will press enter. So it is now computing unit cost less quantity and that would be the value which is similar to what we have in D2. So to create that lambda function, I just need to use this part in here, not the testing part, so I'm just going to copy that. And then we need to go into the formula, click on the define name, and then paste that formula under the refers to field, and then name your formula and I'm going to call it total amount and that's it and then to use that lambda function just go into a field and instead of doing the formula like unit cost times quantity you call the function called total amount and then pass on the parameter of unit cost comma and then the quantity close bracket and you've got the total amount in there using your new function called total amount. I'm going to do that in my amount with GST so create that lambda again so I'm going to call the lambda function and I'm going to pass on uh, unit cost as a parameter, quantity as a parameter and I'm going to multiply the unit cost times the quantity and times 1.15 to include the GST. And if I'm going to test that, we're going to get the unit cost, comma, and the quantity. And then close bracket, and that would be the lambda. I'm just going to copy that lambda function in there, go back to the define name, paste it onto the first to, and we'll call this uh, total amount GST. 
and I will hit OK and we will now use that lambda function equal to total amount GST passing on the unit cost comma and the quantity and that value now has the GST of 1.5. So that is lambda function in Excel. You use that if you have complicated formula that you often use it in the workbook. So you create the lambda and name it as your function. So all you need to do is just call your function. I hope you find this informative. If you did, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.